Hey guys, Jimmy here. We're currently in Toronto, on, well, on the outskirts of Toronto, near the airport. Uh, we've got one day to explore Toronto and we're going to see what Toronto's got to offer. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Don't miss out on new content and any extras I provide only to um, followers. Right, getting back to the video. Going to downtown Toronto from the Holiday Inn express suites uh close to pearson international airport and i'm going to show you how we got down and everything we get up to uh during one day in toronto After the tour bus, we decided to go into St. Lawrence Market, check out what's on offer, grab some food, and then head down to the bus terminal, ready for our journey to Niagara Falls, Canada side. Good morning guys, we're here in Niagara Falls on the Canadian side. We are about to um, explore the town, while, especially while it's uh, raining and walk over Rainbow Bridge later on. Fringers Cross goes okay, uh, we'll show you um, what we get up to. Yep, that's me, right on the boundary of USA and Canada. After US Customs, me and my partner was picked up by our friend who came out from Dunkirk to take us to the town to enjoy July 4th with everyone there and family. We went through American Indian tribal land and seeing some interesting landmarks. Here we are, Dunkirk, New York State. Say USA. something. Oh, Where are we? Dunkirk, uh, Dunkirk. Bitches. Bitches. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> What are you celebrating? It's a central address. It's a huge place. It's a huge place. And it's a uh, business city hall. To all my American friends, happy July 4th. Thanks for having me over in Dunkirk. What a beautiful show you put on and great American hospitality. I can't get enough of. July 5th and now it's time to head for New York via Buffalo Airport to the JFK.
Next on the list is New York, and followed by that, ending up with Washington, D.C. We've landed at JFK now. It's time to head to our hotel and see our friends from England. We are staying at the Moxie Hotel by the Marriott in Times Square. For some of you who don't know what this view is, this view is from the top of the edge. Now time for the nighttime open top tour bus around Manhattan and the Brooklyn Bridge view and a bit of a Broadway mixed in. 3 a.m. in the morning, the fire alarm went off for ages and ages and ages, to which um, panic spread to the hotel. Uh, God knows what it was. At the end, we found out an employee put a tea towel uh, cloth in the dishwasher. Once we'd done all the sites we needed to see in Manhattan and Brooklyn, we decided to pack up, check out, and head for the Amtrak train down to DC, Washington. We found New York to be very hot, especially during the summer, very loud, too busy, overrated, trash everywhere, no such thing as supersized Big Macs in McDonald's, and a load of disappointment. Don't get me wrong, we all love New York. We arrived at Union Station in DC, and now time for Capitol Hill, AKA Congress tour. We arrive at the Lincoln Memorial to find a woman with a PA system shouting religious beliefs. Oh yes, that's me outside the White House. I love the DC metro system. Very clean, very efficient and good to use. Good old Lincoln sat on his throne. Thank you, Toronto, Niagara Falls, Dunkirk, NYC, and Washington DC. Thanks again for such an amazing time. The experience you gave me, my friends, and partner. Wow. Until next time, cheers, guys. <laughs>